So you want to start expressing who you are. And I remember to this day the first time I ever expressed who I was in public. Oh, this is my favorite story. <laughs> I'm so glad you're gonna share this. So growing up in the 70s, Jackie Onassis was my hero. Yes. The lady had it put together. Smart, intelligent, understood things, dressed very nicely, very, she was a bit of a hero of mine, I'll be honest with you. My grandmother painted a picture of her that I wish that I had to this day, and that's kind of how I made this all connection with her. Well, one day when I finally decided to work up the courage, I had just got in my car. I bet you I was 16 and three weeks old past it. I mean, it was just 16 years, three weeks, and I had to go out and show the world who I was. Couldn't hide it anymore. Had to let them know, here I am, Kelly Jenkins. So I dressed up and I went to the mall. The problem was, in my desire to replicate Jackie Onassis, I did not realize. You forgot that Jack what decade it was. <laughs> I forgot what <laughs> decade it was. I forgot that I was going to a mall and that I don't think Jackie Onassis, no matter what decade it was, would have dressed the way that I did. I wore a pink two-piece skirt suit top. Mm. The skirt was like a pink crinoline mesh thing that was kind of tight, some white stockings, some pink high-heeled shoes, <laughs> the pink jacket with the big, beautiful, oh, it was beautiful gold buttons, just, you know, because I forgot you, about can't the just, yeah, you can't just have pink. You've got to have gold with it in this, right. in this Jackie Onassis age that I lived in. So all the pink buttons, I mean, all the gold buttons going down it was not enough. Jackie Onassis wore a pill box hat. Yes, she did. Right on my head it went. <laughs> I hopped in my little car, tootled my way over to the mall. You're feeling yourself. I was feeling like, I'm looking good. This is it. This is my introduction. <laughs> Hello world, it's Kelly Jenkins. <laughs> and I walk out and I step into the mall and I look around and it's like, oops. I think I might have, A, dressed in the wrong decade, mm. B, maybe have dressed over the top a little bit for a mall because I walked into a mall where nobody had a dress on. Some of them only had, I mean, you know, I was way over the top of it. Also, so, where was this mall? Oh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Tiny, tiny, tiny Knoxville, Tennessee back in the 70s. Yeah. It would have been the 80s then, so I'll give it another decade of credit. Uh-huh. So I, yeah, so I just go walk in the mall and I'm like, oops. But the beautiful part of it is I didn't just turn around and run to my car. I at least had the courage to make one loop around the store before I went back into my car. And I don't think I ever put that outfit on ever again because I discovered I never had a purpose to because that was a definite occasion dress. Do you still have it? I wished I did. God, I wish you did. Oh my, I wish I had a picture I was going to say, do you have a picture at no, least? No, I mean... I think what happened, and this will actually translate to a lot of other people, transgender people have a tendency to purge. I have gotten rid of thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of clothing out of shame. Mm. Buy them, um, and it's probably a good thing I got rid of that <laughs> one. <laughs> but, Maybe for fashion for fashion sensibility sense. yes, yes but i got rid of all of my male um, all of my female clothing at least five times in my life just an entire wardrobe and just threw it away i'm never going to do it again